Just because Microsoft says you shouldn't do something doesn't mean you can't try. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. Today we have something rather special. So, everybody who's updated to Windows 11 has been a little bit miffed that you can't use older hardware with the new Windows operating system. Windows says this is due to the hardware requirements for TPM 2.0 along with some security features that weren't implemented until around 2018. I call BS simply because I think that TPM and this always on security, meaning they're constantly accessing data, is a way to gain information for marketing and quite honestly to control more of the ecosystem for Microsoft. Can't prove it, but that's what I personally believe. Now we know you can run Windows 11 on older machines because a lot of people have done it. In fact, I'm not the most software savvy guy, so getting Windows 11 running on this computer, I actually requested the help of two of my buddies, Ty and Hayden, and we followed the entire like Linus Tech Tips essentially video on how to do this. And so I suggest you watch that because I'm not gonna be able to articulate as detailed as they were on what to do. So please watch that video. It will be down in the description below if you wanna know how to do this step by step. I'm having to keep the charger plugged in because the battery is completely dead, but this was a beast for its day. It had a mobile i5 third generation, came with Windows 7, had eight gigabytes of RAM and a solid state, meaning this guy was close to $2,000 when it was originally released. To give you a basic overview, what you need to do is download a Windows 11 ISO and 10 ISO. Reason being is you actually copy the Windows 11 files to the Windows 10 installer. That way it's not looking for the same hardware requirements that Windows 11 does. You also have to mess with the reg edit files to make sure it doesn't look for TPM or the current hardware requirements as well. Once you've done all that, you essentially have an installation you know, software that will work and you go through the regular process. The basic trick to doing this is Windows 11 requires internet access to do the activation and installation. So all you do is once you get up to the point where it's asking for you to essentially create a Microsoft account or link it, you unplug the internet from the computer and create a local account and bing, bang, boom, you got Windows 11 on it. Once we got Windows 11 installed, we ran into problems immediately because there was no drivers for Windows 11 for things like your USBs, your Wi-Fi, and for the trackpad. Luckily, we were able to get the internet to work, and luckily, even more so, Lenovo still had Windows 10 drivers for this model, which ended up fixing most of our problems. Beyond that, I wanted to see if it would actually update Windows itself, which shockingly it does. This computer is running the latest version of Windows completely updated through the regular Windows update system. What this tells me is that Microsoft most likely doesn't have a system yet to check for hardware and TPM once Windows 11 is already on the computer. Now the user experience was a little rough. I'm used to very, very fast computing. And so even doing things like opening basic files, launching applications like Steam took a little while, doing any type of downloading because the read write speeds on the solid state along with the atrociously slow NIC that's in here for Wi-Fi was, not unbearable, but incredibly aggravating. Like things that should take three to five minutes were taking 30 to 45. Even opening something like YouTube took quite a while. And I mean, you can see just even from the video that again, it wasn't snappy, but it was technically functional. So the great thing about all this is if you can't afford a new computer, this is a possible solution. But I really wanted to push this thing. So of course I had to run some games. So I'm gonna let past Andrew show you how my first test went with League of Legends. All right guys, so I actually have this hooked up to my capture card behind me, and so you can see what I'm seeing. Getting a solid on League of Legends, on integrated graphics for Intel, on a nearly 10 year old CPU, we're getting 17 frames a second. Now, playable, that is a incredibly uh, complicated argument because obviously I, I feel like you would most likely be a detriment to your team if you were playing at these frames, but the interesting thing about this is, A, it runs. That's, I mean, listen, that in and of itself, I will take as a victory, even though, like I said, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't put this on any people that I was ever going to really, you know, actually play with. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not uh, by any means perfect. And it's obviously something where I don't even know if you could play this game, uh, game like in any real capacity. But again, it's fed, just the fact that, listen, we're running Windows 11, we're running, running League of Legends, and we're running it on a computer that's nearly 10 years old that should not by any means be able to do all of these things. But hey, look, we're doing it. And you know what, I'm taking it back. I'm getting kind of used to 15 frames a second. I think, I don't know if I was good, I would win a lot of games, but I mean, I, let's see. So these are bots obviously, but we're gonna see if we can actually get a kill. Nope, nope, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna die myself. I need a flash. 
Well, that's embarrassing, but you know what? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully if you're installing Windows 11 on uh, Windows 11 on an older computer. It's like at least two generations newer than this, so you can, you know, you can play games like League of Legends. All right, back to the present, Andrew. Now, it wasn't great, but again, it shows that driver support for Windows 11 on all the computers, it still all works. It's just, they're the gatekeepers and they don't want you to come through that gate. Now, I obviously wanted to test a game that wasn't as demanding to see if the experience was any better, so here's past Andrew with Stardew Valley. All right, guys, so I've got Stardew Valley uh, pulled up now. Uh, it's running in windowed mode. We're getting like 40 frames a second. Uh, this is a game that would honestly be way more reasonable for something like this because we're talking about pixel art. This isn't demanding, right? You can basically run it on anything. So we're gonna go up and queue a new game and just see how it does. This is one of the problems I have with any type of game where I get to create a, king, a character. I'm so story driven that even in this test, I'm like, hmm, what should I name my guy? Mr. Big Game. Um, obviously, this is going to be Windows 11 port. Running games. Running game. Running game. Uh, obviously, we got to get this guy a little darker so he looks a little bit like me, right? I don't know. Is that too many shades? Hang on. Right there. Ish, right? Oh, other way. Black. All right, let's see how she does. Can you skip this? Okay, we can. We can skip. Uh-oh, I might have broken it. Shouldn't have skipped it. Oh, I'm getting a blue whale. Let's just, okay. Whew. Whew. I love the fact that I'm. this is even a thing. We're playing, I mean, look, Stardew Valley, again, not a demanding game, obviously, but an incredibly popular one. And the fact that we're running it on hardware as old as this with Windows 11, I mean, look at this, guys. See how bad the lag is. How do I pick this up again? Oh my God, it's been so long. Okay, there we go. I haven't played this game in a minute, so do not make fun of me. Uh, listen to that. Listen to that Stardew Valley music, boys and girls. I'm, I assume there's at least one girl who watches uh, my YouTube content. <laughs> this is this is embarrassing. I can't remember. Is it shift? Dude, I can't remember what the key is. Oh, it's just right, left click. Okay, so that's a problem. It could be the drivers on the Lenovo itself. Um, with the mouse that I have. It could be something with the game. It could be something with Windows 11. But if you notice, it doesn't like, I have to really like, again, the possibilities of being able to install Windows 11 on older hardware for things just like this are pretty much limitless. I mean, if it, especially if you have like newer generation hardware that is closer to, um, closer to like what is like currently available. So like four or five years old. So right past, uh, you know, right past the current support for Windows 11, but still like a genuinely good system. So I'm gonna let under Andrew kind of finish up thoughts on this. A much better experience overall, but you could see that because of the drivers with my mice, even using the trackpad, it was having some serious issues. So what is my final thought on this whole thing? Like what what is my thought on basically installing Windows 11 on a computer this old, and you know, it's not supported, you have to go through all these extra hoops. Quite honestly, I think it's fantastic because where I really see this working is with a computer that's just barely not good enough according to Microsoft to run it. That would be like second generation Ryzen, sixth gen Intel and seventh gen Intel. Even fifth gen Intel should be fine for running this software. It just doesn't make any sense except, you know, money, right, for Microsoft. So anyway, guys, there you have it. Windows 11 running on a nearly 10 year old computer. I mean, I can technically still use it right now. It's definitely possible. And if you just have an older machine lying around that, you know, isn't gonna be getting those updates anyway, and you wanna try it, the worst case scenario, you have to reinstall Windows 10. So, you know, make sure you back up your data, I guess. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. If you liked this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you thought it was terrible, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop next. Again, I am working on a giveaway. I'm probably gonna be rolling that out in November. Um, I just, there's a couple things. I'm waiting for Alder Lake because I'd like to actually give away like an Alder Lake CPU if I can get a hold of one. And of course, guys, I'm gonna continue to make content, which I love to do. And I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc.